Hello and welcome to the BT Young Scientist and Technology Exhibition for 2013. I'm Audrey McGrath from the RTE Weather Team, coming to you live from the RDS. And here is the moment we've all been waiting for. Time to see who this year's winner is. And two hopefuls, Mwirin and Aoife, who are keeping their fingers crossed. So, will we go in, take a look about? Yeah. Let's go. Basically, we, um, we used a bacteria called Rhizobium that's found in legume plants such as peas. And um, we used it on um, cereal, um, cereal crops to speed up the, and we sped up the germination by about 50% potentially. And the three of you guys were squirreled away this Christmas now, I presume. Were you yeah. working hard? Yeah, like, we pretty much lived in my house because yeah. that's where the, we yeah. had the labs. Like yeah, we kinda, they kind of slept over for about three or four days. Yeah. yeah with just non-stop project work so it was just so much fun being all together and we like bonded so much over it and this is just the ultimate thing that ties us together I suppose. Well it's lovely to see that camaraderie and enjoy every moment of this success you. and the year ahead because it's absolutely as I can see on your faces at the shop you <laughs> enjoy them. Well congratulations there and well done and as we all know it's as much about the participants as the winners so just to give you a flavour of what it's been like here over the last few days, take a look at this. Are you excited about science? Yeah! I don't know what to make of it all. Great day here at the BT Young Scientist Exhibition. Met loads of enthusiastic teenagers, all loving science, and I can't wait to come back next year. The new jobs of the future will be created, created by many of these young people uh, to their entrepreneurial spirit, and that's something that the education system must foster, and we as government must help in terms of getting the country to a better place. So it's really encouraging. If you really want to be positive about the future, come here and see the opportunities that are here. Well, I'm back at the BT Young Scientists Exhibition for another year and I've been coming here for the last eight or nine years and I have to say that this year all the projects have really, really stepped it up and it's great to see that all the youth of the nation are really getting on board with technology and they're pushing forward. So this is our future here. Are you all having a great time? Yeah! Sitting down with the young people and discovering what they discovered is just marvellous. And uh, I mean, the enthusiasm and what they have actually found is, is amazing. Uh, and this is what this country needs, people like this. I've been coming here now for the last 15 years. Every year I see something new. It's fantastic to see so many young people involved in trying to provide solutions to a range of issues. And congratulations to all involved in organising this wonderful annual event. Great year here at the BT Young Scientist and Technology Exhibition. We've certainly been enjoying ourselves getting into the fun aspect of things, but for now it is bye bye from myself and from me. Now it's time for your live weather forecast from the RDS with Helen Curran. <laughs> 